on publish. And now we're gonna take care of this sidebar here. We're gonna make this look exactly like you can see it here, like I've shown you before. So let's go back and then let's go just to the main menu here. And then let's go to widgets, go to default sidebar and then click got it here. And then we wanna first delete everything here. So we start with a blank canvas. So this is kind of cumbersome sometimes. So just wanna click on these items, go to the three dots and then click on remove search. Do the same thing here, three dots, remove heading remove these links, this group, remove the comments, and also remove this text here. Again, remove. So we just are left with this plus icon. And now the first thing we're gonna add is a search bar. So let's click on the plus icon and type in search. And then we're just gonna click on search here. And there we go, we already have it here. Then we're gonna add the next thing, which is the about section. So let's type in about about me, choose this one, and there we go. Now here we can basically change some settings. So about me is fine. I can change the name right here. So let's say Sam Smith or basically your name. And then we also wanna add an image. Now you can't really click on this button and just upload an image here. So we can, we basically need to upload it to our media library and then copy the link and paste it in here. So let's click on publish first. And then let's go back to our dashboard. So I already have it open here. You can just go to it. And then we're gonna click on um, media right here. And here we're gonna upload our profile image. Now again, you could just use the profile image I've provided in the Google Drives folder. I'm gonna just use one that I have prepared here. I'm gonna use this one here. So I'm gonna drag it into the media library. And then once it's uploaded, you just wanna click on the profile image. And then I'm gonna copy this URL right here. Then we're gonna go back to the customizer and then click on the about me section. And then just paste in this URL here, paste. And just like that, it has now changed. Then you can also add a description here if you want to about yourself. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it from this example page here, paste that in here. And then you can also add some social links just below this text. So you can just paste those links in here. So for your Facebook page, you wanna just add your link. So I don't really have one, but I'm just gonna uh, type in the Facebook URL. And once you type in a URL here, the Facebook icon will already show up. The same with Instagram, LinkedIn, or all the other social media pages, just uh, paste in the URL to your LinkedIn or whatever you wanna add, and then it's gonna show up here at the bottom. Then I wanna add the newsletter signup section. So let's scroll down, click on the plus icon once again, and then type in mail. So the MailChimp uh, widget will come up. Let's click on it. And then you can see this sign up section here. So I'm also just gonna copy the text. So we're just gonna copy the text here, paste it into this text box, which will show up here. And then I don't wanna have them accept the GDPR terms. You can, if you want to, I'm just gonna delete it. And then this part will be gone. And then for the last part of the sidebar, we're also gonna add um, the recent posts. So let's click on add block, then type in recent. And then we wanna do recent posts right here. And there we go, that's all we have to do. Now the most recent posts will show up. Now, if you wanna show more, more posts here, I would actually show more. So I would just change the number here to something like six or even, even more if you want to. But I think six is fine. And that's all we need to do. Let's click on publish. And now I also wanna change the text size of the sidebar titles and also of this text here. So to do that, we're gonna go back to the main customizer menu, then click on typography, then go to first, we're gonna do the heading. So we're gonna click on sidebar widget heading. And here we're gonna change the heading to let's say 18 pixels. And then we're gonna go back and also select the widgets here. And then we're gonna change the font size to let's say 15 pixels. And this will increase the text size here as well. You can have it a bit smaller if you want to, maybe 14 is fine as well, just like this. All right, let's again click on pop.